In this video, I'm gonna give you my five tips to get the most out of your GoPro. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can win yourself a GoPro Hero 10, courtesy of the sponsors of this video, Digiarty. So definitely stick around until the end or you'll miss out. There's also tons of $100 and $50 Amazon vouchers to win, so if you've already got a GoPro 10, there's still reasons to hang around. If you come to this video and you're still rocking an old GoPro, don't worry, I'm still rocking the GoPro Hero 7 and living like it's still 2018. All the tips I'm gonna show you, you can do on any GoPro camera from the GoPro Hero 7 onwards. Anything with HyperSmooth and any future incarnations of HyperSmooth, this video is for you. Some of the other tips will relate to all GoPros in general, but if you wanna make use of all the tips, then yeah, GoPro Hero 7 onwards, I would say. GoPros in general, I think should be in any young filmmakers gear bag or old filmmakers not trying to be ageist they're great for quick and easy time lapses or wide angled action scenes and they're just still a great little portable camera especially for action sports and traveling vlogging that sort of thing and let's not forget they're still great for shooting underwater shots still a massive selling point definitely have a gopro in your kit bag is what i'm trying to say i'm going to give you my five tips on how to get the best out of it so let's dive in tip number one is just my recommended settings turn pro tune on that way you can change the iso shutter speeds and color profiles now i tend to leave my white balance on auto mainly because i forget to change it most of the time but the gopro does generally do a pretty good job with the auto white balance same with the shutter speed i generally leave it on auto but i will come back to this I'll set a minimum ISO of 100 and a maximum of 400 just to cover me for lower light situations. Make sure your sharpness is set to low. This is important. The GoPro color profile is really saturated, which isn't ideal if you're going to edit the colors in post. I suggest using the flat profile so you have a flatter image to start with, and this way you'll find color corrections easier and more effective. Okay, moving on to tip number two. Use a selfie stick or a monopod to act as a counterweight when you're shooting handheld. It'll keep your footage way smoother than just holding your GoPro as the weight of the selfie stick will keep your GoPro fairly level. You can also flip the selfie stick or monopod to get some really visually interesting ground shots. Make sure HyperSmooth or whatever the most recent incarnation is of HyperSmooth is on. The only real reason to turn it off is because it crops the image, but unless you have a gimbal, you're better off just leaving it on. Okay, tip number three, lock your exposure. Now I only found out about this a couple of months ago, so I've been shooting GoPro for about two or three years now without even realizing that it existed. So don't make the same mistake as me. That's what I'm here for. I'll make the mistakes so that you don't have to. You know that horrible flickering when you pan up to the sky and your GoPro just exposure? Well, that's not a good look for your films, but it can be fixed. To fix your exposure in place, simply press and hold the screen and you'll get a padlock icon. Click tick and now your exposure is locked in. So here's a pro tip. Remember I said we'd come back to the ISO? but I will come back to this. So if you're shooting somewhere where you have constant lighting, use manual shutter speed and double the frame rate. As the exposure is locked, this won't change and you know that you've got the correct shutter speed for your frame rate. Okay, so that brings us to tip number four, low battery mode. Now there isn't one, but I'm gonna show you a few things you can turn off to save your battery power. Now GoPro batteries aren't the best. I usually get about two hours out of my GoPro battery. So it's important you get the most out of the battery when it's in use. First thing to do is turn off voice commands. Now don't get me wrong, I'm down with the millennials and I recognize that talking to your favorite tech is both fun and useful. Okay, Google, make a fart noise. This is a fart. <coughs> Second is turn off GPS. Unless you find yourself out of a cannon and want to measure the height and speed. Then GPS is fairly niche. And for 99% of situations, although it's a great feature to have, you won't need to use it and it's just a burden on your battery. So that brings us to my final tip, tip number five, and that's spare batteries. And this is kind of a continuation of tip number four. Make sure you get yourself a couple of spare batteries, a charger for those batteries, and also a portable power bank so that you can charge the batteries on the go. Especially if you're going traveling or camping, then you'll never run out of batteries. And if you find something you quickly want to film, you can pick your GoPro up without the fear of having that horrible red icon in the top right hand corner. 
Now I've put a link in the description to the batteries, charger and power bank I use. They aren't official GoPro batteries, but they do the job and all this gear won't set you back a ton of money, which is what we like. Okay, so now you know how to get your GoPro footage. Now you need something to edit it with, right? Now you may well be new to your GoPro or filmmaking in general or just do it as a hobby. And editing software and which one to get, it can be overwhelming. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Digiarty, the sponsors of this video, have a free editing suite called Videoproc Vlogger and it is awesome. There's a link in the description of this video to a download of the software that has all the full features free of charge. And if you want an in-depth walkthrough of the software, then watch this video here, full run through of the software. So Video Vlogger, I think is one of the best free editing suites out there. It's packed with pro features and it's perfect if you're looking for something free that also gives you pro results. And it also happens to be great at editing GoPro footage. Comes with its own speed ramp presets, which you can also customize. You can create dynamic speed ramps with ease. You can also emulate camera movements within the software to stylize your videos with shakes, fast zooms and rotations. The color correction and color grading in Video Prop Vlogger is also pretty neat, especially for a free editing suite. It comes with built-in color LUTs and color filters so you can make your GoPro footage look pro in no time. You can also import your favorite LUTs, another pro feature you won't find in many free Free editing suites. Okay, so remember I told you to shoot in a flat picture profile with the GoPro. This is so you can bring it into an editing suite like Video Prop Vlogger and give your footage a pro color grade in no time. Sometimes you might want to shoot super wide with your GoPro and you'll get that fisheye effect. Well, in Video Prop Vlogger, there's an option to remove this with one click. Pretty awesome, right? So, with tons of transitions and effects, I highly recommend that you download. Video Proc Vlogger, it's a bit of a mouthful that, Video Proc Vlogger. Using the description below, it's free of charge, access all the full features, download it now, start pimping up your GoPro videos. Not only that, but as I mentioned at the start of this video, Digiarty are running a competition for you guys, and one of you is gonna win a GoPro Hero 10, unless none of you enter and then no one will win a GoPro Hero 10. But one of you should enter and win a GoPro Hero 10. It's free to enter, you can enter the competition via the link below. There's also tons of $100 and $50 Amazon vouchers to win, so it's definitely worth a go. So definitely head on over via the link and good luck. I mean that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks to Digiarty for sponsoring this video. So if you have enjoyed this, found it useful, both, either or, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. It's up to you. You can give it a thumb down if you want. It still shoots me out the algorithm, so that thumbs up would be nice. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Read and reply to all your comments. And if you're not ready, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It'd be really nice to have some new faces like yours on board. So hit the subscribe button and ding that bell. Anyway, that's it for this one. I recommend you go and check out my complete walkthrough of a video prop vlogger, which should be shown sort of there-ish. Or up there. Here. Should be playing here, I think. Anyway, that's it for this one. Catch you in the next video.